details an operation in which Christopher Dark Paul Linton was killed. Police have provided more details on the operation in which reputed gang leader Christopher Dark Paul Linton was fatally shot on Monday. Reports from the corporate communication unit, the police information arm, are that shortly before 2 pm, the police acting on information intercepted a vehicle in which armed men were believed to be travelling. When asked to stop, Linton allegedly alighted from the vehicle and opened fire the police. The gunfire was returned and Linton was shot, the police report said. He was taken to a nearby medical facility where he succumbed to his injuries. A 45 pistol was seized following the incident. Head of the Crime and Security Portfolio Deputy Commissioner of Police, Fitzbilly, said Linton has been implicated in several murders and shootings since his release from prison in April of this year. Linton, who was in 2013 sentenced to 15 years in prison and charged of shooting with intent and illegal possession of firearm, was freed in April after his conviction was squashed in the Court of Appeal. The matter was reported to the Independent Commission of Investigation and the IPROB. More details will be provided as soon as available. Leah Tavares Finso says she will miss her papa. Leah Tavares Finso, the outspoken daughter of noted attorney at law and president of Senate, Tam Tavares Finso, and the mother of Christopher Dagpa Child, has expressed that she will miss Linton following his death earlier today. Tavares Finso and Dagpa share a 10 year old son. In a post to her Instagram story a short while ago, Tavares Finso referred to the disease as Papa Beer. In quotation, she wrote, I will miss you, Papa Beer. My dark pa, she wrote. She added, Watch over us the right way now. In another post by Tam Tavares, she shared a photo of Dagpa with her son and her other child. Dagpa was cut down by law enforcement acting an intelligent in Elliston Flat in St. Andrew shortly before 2 pm on Monday. Reports said that the police intercepted a vehicle in which armed men were believed to be travelling in the area. Upon arrival, law enforcers command that the vehicle should stop. Police report that Linton alighted from the vehicle and opened fire the police. The gunfire was returned and Linton was shot. A pint 4 5 pistol was seized following the incident. Head of the Crime and Security Portfolio, Deputy Commissioner of Police with Spilly, said Linton had been implicated in several murders and shootings since his release from prison in April of this year.